Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Summon Knight Swordcraft Story Blind. I'm sorry about that last episode. I really, really am, but I'm sure that some of you may have enjoyed seeing what happens when uh, the unrelenting force comes up against a movable object. Is that. <laughs> That's just the way I'm going to put that right now. <sighs> you know, I feel at some point along the way I should have switched to Chave's Blade a lot sooner than I did. Especially watching that episode, but you know, it's that's just the way I am. Like, that's what... I mean, I play I Want to Be the Guy games, right? And in those games, it's just a constant, um, oh, I'll just press R and go again. I'll press R and do it again. Like, we're to the point where there's, like, things that I've done in there, which I've done, like, a thousand attempts on. Like, I'm pretty sh dang sure there is... Oh, gosh, how many times did Camilla take? I, I don't even want to think about how long that took. But anyway, so, some thoughts that I have now after that fight... I, I really think that my plan of going all agility, I have to switch it up. I know I was have been doing it all this time, but you know, after that last battle, I really feel that I should put something into attack next time. Anyway, so now we actually get to do our uh, post-battle scene. So our choices are Xantek, Snary, and Veril. Veril is, he's the confident one, right? Uh, I don't know. Personally, I kind of just want to keep seeing Scenari, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll be going to the Undersea Observatory. Hi, Scenari. Is this seat taken? Yes, it is. Sorry. Aw, oh, dang it. Really, who took it? Just kidding, you rube. Of course you can sit there. You look pretty good, considering what just took place. <laughs> oh, Sedari. I feel like... Like, I feel like you're referring to something else. But that just fits way too well, considering what that last episode was. <laughs> it's like she's just commenting, Man, you look good, despite the fact I saw you, like, completely dissolve into particles, like, a dozen times. I'm depressed. <laughs> I feel so foolish every time I realize how limited my skills are. Don't say that, Scenario. You're doing your best, and you're working your hardest. You'll learn to be confident in your weapons, just like Mr. Confident Boy, who then ended up having his confidence shattered when I beat him with a knockoff blade. In fact, maybe that knockoff blade will end up being the strongest blade in the game. Chave Sword is going to carry me the rest of the way. All the way to the final boss, or whatever it is in this game. Gonna fight everything off with Chave Sword. <laughs> Thank you. And maybe you'll learn how to control your boot swings, too. Claire, I don't know if that's something you should say. You make me crazy. <laughs> Let's pretend I'm your big sister, so I can drag your sassy butt back home. Okay. I knew you were older than me, but by how much? <laughs> Okay. Okay, Snary's fun. I like seeing her. Hey, Clever! This is really important! Oh no. What happened, Master? What's the rush? Oh, what's going on? Um, what are all of you doing? Don't just lay your butt there! It's Razzy! Razzy! Who's Razzy? Like... <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> What's up, Santec? We need to go punch someone? I'm on it. Urgh! That hurt my ears. What a tarnation! Was that your doing, Santec? What in bloody hell do you want? Star. Da da da. Star. Santec wants you to calm down. Ah, uh, I, I see. <laughs> so what's going on? Here's the story. My sister, she's a beautiful girl. Uh, well, what about her? Is she, was she turned into a raspberry? Uh, she's got a kid called Razzy. Oh, Razzy, so she named her kid Raspberry. I got it. And the kid's missing! 
Razzie's gone down into the labyrinth underneath the central tower and hasn't come out yet. How did I know that this kid was going to be, like, in the dungeon? <laughs> How did I just know? Master was so panicked that he ended up straight nading his back. Cut it out! Don't you dare say anymore! If me back did... Braun, have you gone pirate? Do I need to go, like, pirate Bowser now? Yar! If me back did take so much, I'd gone down there myself. Myself. <laughs> no way, Master! You're not going down there! So I'm asking ya to help me out, Claro. This is me next technique. You're gonna need something like this to be on par with your enemies. <laughs> New technique. Good luck, I'm counting on ya. <laughs> yeah, he, he seriously was going full pirate on us there. So what did we get? Uh, let's see. We, did we get, like, another sword technique? My gosh! My gosh, this game is really, like, giving us all the swords. Man, now that I've seen how the uh, whole, uh, also, one thing I've noticed, uh, like, Iron Saber, like, yeah, like, there's tech for all of these. Look how, look, this doesn't have any tech, because obviously we didn't use it at all. This one, I, I'm positive, like, the attack has to have gone up on it or something. Well, it, maybe tech just acts as, like, a multiplier or something. Anyway, we can't make anything right now. Like, we can't make a spear. We can't make uh, another drill. Also, we can't make another drill anyway. I guess we need to go and talk to him about another recipe. Uh, how's my health? Okay, my health is good. I'm level 10. Seems pretty good. Anyone in here? I gotta do my rounds. No. Okay, what about... Uh, these two are always in here, right? Yeah. Hey. I finally forged a weapon using Mystic Ore. I followed the normal instructions, but I added some Mystic Ore to the technique. I ended up with a stronger weapon. Did you know this already, Clario? So, is that like an option that we have? So Mystic Ore isn't necessary for recipes. It's a way to sort of like supercharge your weapon. Yo, are you making fun of my name? My parents named me this so that I could become a craft knight. You're lucky. Clairu's a really cool name. I don't know, Casio, I kind of like it. It's fun. <laughs> okay, checking all the rooms, even though it's pointless. Because Cenaria is never in any of these rooms. And downstairs, you gonna say the same thing? Oh no, looks like you've got something new to say. Keenan is a nice... Actually, no, you look the same as those guys. Keenan is a nicer person than he looks. Why does he belong to the Gold Guild? This room is a forge. We can make lots of weapons here. And you... This room belongs to Braun. If you want to make... Okay, you will give me a new technique once you're done with the last one. Braun? Oh, he must be... Wait... Are you sleeping, Broad? Whoa, not so fast! Go forge that last weapon I taught you before moving on to the next. I love how I love how he's lying in bed, and he still says the exact same thing he would as he said over there. Also, Broad, you came in so absolutely distraught, and now you're going to bed. Really? <laughs> okay, excuse, sorry, I gotta get my hammering in. <laughs> Unless you master the skills of both making and using them, we can't call you a real craft knight. And... Master Braun's weapon is awesome, mine doesn't compare. But a craft lord's is even better. Cool. Cool. Okay, and no one's here. Okay. Now that I've wasted time talking to everyone, also the person that was here and telling me to go to sleep, I assume they're now at like their station or whatever. By the way, Zantek, what should we do? Uh, we really should probably find this person named Razzie. Who names their kid Razzie? Star, star. I'm worried. The labyrinth is pretty dangerous. I hope Razzie's alright and not injured. I hope your sensors can locate where he is. Razzie is a guy's name. Gosh dang it! I thought I was done with this gender confusion thing. Like, I heard Razzie and I'm thinking, 
Oh, like a raspberry? Like who would name their son Raspberry? <laughs> okay, fine. Razzy, you're a dude. You say you'll cover that with willpower? Cool, I leave it to you. Yep, Zantek is just gonna use the willpower to punch through everything. Two forces in this town, the Silver Guild and the Gold Guild. Summoners are also divided among two groups. The Cerulean Society and the Auric Collective. When are we gonna have to deal with those two? You don't just name drop those and then... By the way, the Cerulean Society and the Auric Collective, you will never hear these names ever again in this game. They're quite competitive, so you can see them arguing with each other all the time. When we go underground for the first time, we get too excited and go too deep. Any one of us could get lost easily. Okay, so does that mean everyone around here now has new things to say? So I should talk to people? Swords from the Gold Guild aren't bad, but after using those in the Silver Guild, you can't go raw back to the Gold's mass products. Okay, so like, basically there's... The thing is that uh, it's like, uh, I guess, mass production versus uh, the solo individual put your heart into it kind of weapons. Fighting always makes you nervous, but I'm sure you will find something wonderful awaiting you. So good luck! So is, like, the Gold Guild really just, like, a profiteering-type guild? And so they're just trying to make as much as possible and, uh, damn the actual, uh, quality of the products? That might also be why, like, the sales are, like, 90% gold to the 10% silver, but silver is actually making the quality stuff. The tournament has an age limit. Only 18 and under are allowed, so I'm disqualified by technicality. What? Do I look older than I am? Not at all. Why, why do we need our craft lord to be so young? Is it because, uh, I don't know, they don't like doing this that often, so it's just like, we need someone really young so they can just be a craft lord forever, so we don't have to worry about this for like 50 years. I returned from Fandom because I heard that there's a tournament being held, but I didn't get here in time for the opening ceremony. Okay, also, maybe there's new stuff in the shop. Like, I mean, if people are saying new things, maybe there's new stuff to buy. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can buy some materials here. Okay, let's see. Mineral bracelet. Mineral ring. So what we've got on, I think, increases our agility by a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. Bandage. Covers 500 HP. Lowers it. I was thinking of getting this just because... Uh, but I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I, I'm happy usually grinding things out, but... Maybe I should get this? I'm gonna get this just for the sake of... You know, if I ever am in the dungeon and I just want to get through it, I can put that on so I don't have to worry about, you know, running to, into enemies every five seconds. Since Tetsu passed away three years ago, the possession of her craft lord of iron... Craft Lord of Iron. Okay, so that's the one that we are going for. We're the Craft Lords of Iron. It's been vacant. But I don't think that anyone would look as good as he did in the position. Probably not. He had that sick blade on his shin. The smell of the ocean cheers me up. I'm happy to be back in Wistron. I want to see, uh, is there anyone here? Who are you? You can't borrow a harbor boat unless you have permission from your master. We're just kids. Okay, anyone on the ship? No, I came all the way here just to talk to this kid. Okay. Let's go in the labyrinth for a bit so I don't get distracted anymore. My gosh. <laughs> like, we spent a lot of time just riding around talking to people. I want to talk to you. My grandfather told me that he, when he was a child, what's now the first floor used to be the second floor. Okay, so what now is the first floor used to be the second floor... So, right, because everything's sinking still, right? Anyway, we're going in and we're... Oh, you're actually here. There have been some collapses in the labyrinth because of the recent earthquakes. Watch your step while you're in there. Okay, can I still use the teleporter, though? That's the important thing. Let's go. Oh, so, remember what I was saying? Uh, because everything was like... Uh, like, we couldn't actually make progress when we came down here last time. Uh, 
let me heal up even though there's no need to. So because there's been collapses, that means we should be able to make progress now, right? Okay, so... Oh man, our attack is way, way better now. Holy... Ouch. These guys do nothing to us, my gosh. We got more sandals. We're getting... Oh my gosh, look how much experience we need. We need 2,000 experience. We got 40 from that battle. We really need to just, like, move on. It's kind of crazy though, right? Like, just how much, um... There's like just this huge disparity between like the people that you fight down here and the, uh... And the people you fight in the tournament. It feels that way anyway. Like, these guys just get like one combo down, they deal one damage. But there's no real way that we could have been fighting like anyone stronger. Like, this is it. This is like what we can fight down here gonna have so many matchboxes. So I don't know if it, there's much point in staying on this floor. It feels like everything is just... Okay, one thing. Is it possible? Is there any way to, like, retreat? Okay! Okay, there is an actual way to retreat. You just run off the screen. Okay. So if I wanted, wanted to, like, this battle is no... is no... Uh, no reason I want to be here. I could just run like that. Okay, because then maybe the amulet isn't even worth getting if it's that easy. Portable canteen, that actually sounds pretty good. Okay. Like, I mean, I could fight these guys, but I could also just run. I just want to fight something, like, different. Something a bit stronger. Also, do we have anything to say? No, no, no. No point in saying this. But that's cool that you can just sort of run if it's like... Oh, these guys are, like, completely pointless. Like, you get nothing for fighting them. Like, I mean, I could... I su Okay, look at that. See, the number just went up again. And we haven't leveled up. It's now 45. So, I wonder... Should I maybe be using, like, a different weapon? Well, I don't know. I, I like having something big and heavy to use. Like, this thing is pretty dang good. Like, just for tearing through things. Like, and especially with how low level these guys are. Like, you know, it's funny, like, even though it's, like, so... E I can see why it's so easy to run away, because these battles can go by so fast, that it's, like, if running isn't that quick, there's literally no point in, uh... There's literally no point in running away if the battles just end like this anyway. Okay. Well, that floor went by quickly. Unless, is there a door in here? Okay. Like, I, the only reason I'm fighting right now is because, as you can see, my attack keeps on increasing the more I use this. So if I keep using this blade, who knows, maybe it'll keep getting better? And I could literally use it to the end of the game. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Okay, there is a door here. I want to see the goods in here. Got some... Man, there are so many matchboxes. Remember when we uh, got rid of our dignity for a matchbox? That was... that was fun. <laughs> Man, like these lower floors, there is nothing but uh, these uh, pumpkinos. Also, it seems like if I dash in, uh, my first uh, attack hits harder, so I can, I can double hit these guys down if I do it that way. Okay, oh, there's another teleporter. Let's get that. Oh, we have a new enemy. Oh, and he's in the air. Hey, hey, don't you do that. You know, I might just stick with Chave Sword, because... My gosh, this thing is working like a charm at dealing with everything. Okay, let's activate this. Activate. There we go. And what's in here? Two treasures. What do we got? Got a bandage. I still haven't been healing at all. Like, at all. <laughs> let's get into a few more encounters down here just to see. Ugh, more, more pumpkinos. Come on. 
Okay, so... I wonder... Like, if I get my technique up, will we see it go up to 47? Oh, we got a level up for Xantec. And we've still got a ways to go. How... How big is this place? I could go a bit further. I mean, I probably shouldn't because we're just about on time, so I'm probably going to just do like a few other things in here. Like maybe a couple more battles and then we'll call it there. Because, yeah, I mean, I want to go like a tiny bit further just because of the fact that uh, we haven't really done anything yet. Wow. Like, we keep fighting the same enemies. So it's like we aren't really making too much headway in terms of leveling. Now we're fighting more of these gunner head those. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, stop that, dude. Stop that. Sheesh. They go down pretty easily, though. Okay, break these. Anything up here? Is this the way we're supposed to go? Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. Uh, I want to keep going. It's so tempting just to keep, keep on going. Things are so fast. Oh, what is up here? This feels like some... Okay, just the fact that there's a heal block here, I feel like maybe maybe I should cut it. Let's go a little further. Let's go a little further and see if we can actually find the person here. Room. Wow. Nothing on that floor. No. You know what? I don't need to fight you guys. Like, they're, that's just annoying. And I get, like, no experience for that. Come on. Open up. What do we got? Oh, we got some boxes. Getting these boxes always worthwhile because you get more materials. I wonder if there's any sort of item that you can equip that gets that gives you a higher chance of having materials drop. Okay, now we actually have some interesting different enemies. Oh, and this one's actually tough. Like, see, that actually took two combos with uh, with uh, Chaves Blade. Let me see. What is my... Uh, I'm just curious what my uh, tech is now on Chaves Blade, now that I've kept on using it. Oh, it's up to 98. Like, it's still not... Even then, it's still not as good as my uh, previous one. Okay. Like, oh man. Like, these guys I can see could just double, double up on you. Like, yeah. Like, I was concerned with this blade just because of... Uh, you know how slow it is, but even now it's still like just working just fine. Okay, more boxes. Oh, and there's like a thing down there. I want it. Okay, uh, a cuckoo. Ugh. Okay, Th now we're getting a few more enemies just before I plan to end things off. Sheesh. Experience is still not quite there. Oh, there's there's some good stuff down here. I need it. Oh, a spell axe. Is this the new uh, spell sword? Oh boy. Okay. Sheesh. I should be guarding more. And it like gets right behind you all the time. Okay, guard. This is like the first one that is actually like tough. That we faced in quite a long time. But yeah, it also gives Mystic Ore. Okay, so we're going to break these boxes, and I think we're going to call it here. Let's see what's in this chest. We got a kicker potion. Uh, let me just check what that is. Uh, kicker potion. Recover 500 HP. My gosh. That's a lot. That probably gives a lot of good stuff, too. Anyway, that's it for today. We made a bit of progress in the dungeon. We talked to some new people since there's new dialogue. And we'll do more next time. So, you sort of like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.